Welcome more gamers, this is Doug from 2 Plus Tough and we are continuing our coverage of the start collecting boxes in Age of Sigmar. Going through one by one and discussing what new players can expect from their purchases and kind of where to go from there as far as army composition. Today we're taking a look at the Demons of Corn box and so let's dig in. Alright, so this box is pretty short and sweet. It comes with 10 blood letters, one herald of corn on the blood throne, and three blood crushers. This is actually one of the cheapest in terms of point cost start collecting boxes there is. It kind of maxes out around, well, from what they tell you to build, about 320. And then if you switch it to be, instead of building the blood throne, you build the skull cannon with the herald separate, you can get a little more mileage out of it. But let's stick with the kind of suggested contents first. First, let's talk about what makes this army awesome. And so that is going to be the fact that they're all demons. As we talked about in the Zinch and Nurgle coverages, uh, what makes demon armies great is that everything is summonable. That is, you can move your army across the field and then attempt to summon them, and then that'll uh, drop them further forward. So you can actually gain a lot of board coverage in your first turn, uh, in your second turn, I'm sorry, by summoning the second turn. Um, without a lot of risk involved, which is pretty awesome. Much like the other demon uh, boxes, this doesn't really come into its own until you add in other things. We're going to be covering the corn Bloodbound box next and talk about the synergies there. Here's the thing. corn as a whole, he needs a lot of moving parts to make this happen. For example, the blood letters on themselves really aren't that phenomenal. However, if you get 30 of them in a unit with a blood secretor nearby and a hero nearby, they turn into a blood letter bomb, which is absolutely devastating. It can wreck someone's day really, 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 really handily. Um, as someone who's been on the receiving end, it's nasty. So there are things that can be done, uh, but on its own for new players, there's not a lot going on under the hood in these boxes. Keep in mind that the Blades of Corn Battle Tome, which includes all the various corn armies, is just now coming out when I'm recording this. And so keep keep in mind that I still don't think that the Demons of Corn box functions well on its own. I know that there's a section in that book specifically for demons. The thing is, again, when you bring all the chaos stuff together, that's when the wheels really start turning. You can't talk about corn stuff without talking about the Blood Secretor from the Corn Bloodbound Army, which gives all corn stuff immunity to battle shock and plus one attack within so much of a distance of it. Um, that is kind of the centerpiece of a lot of these armies. If you wanted to do a pure demon of corn army, um, you're going to have a rough go. Okay, They don't have a lot of options. They don't have any wizards, which is very thematic for corn. Uh, there's not many ways of buffing. Everything is just kind of an independent run forward and smash without much modifier involved. Um, there are some cool things with like, you know, the skull cannons will it's an artillery piece that likes to move forward eat people and then shoot their heads out of the cannon which is really really cool um but as far as like synergies and, and tactical play there's there's almost nothing there so when you start broadening the category to uh grand alliance chaos that's when stuff starts happening the probably the best way to go in my opinion, is picking up the Slaves to Darkness box, which I've mentioned before in the other Demon Star Collecting boxes. It's a phenomenal box. You can give everything in there a keyword. The only thing that doesn't really fit in the army is that wizard, that little hero right there. He cannot take the corn keyword because corn hates wizards. Um, but there are a myri myriad of ways that you can include him. You could mod him up so he's like bound and gags. So they're kind of like, you know, forcing him into using his powers and you can just not play with them. I mean, the corn keyword on these guys, along with something like the War Shrine um, and the Blood Secretor from Corn uh, Bloodbound, can do a lot of damage. It can do a ton of very straightforward multiple attacks and wounds damage, which is really, really cool. Much like I said in the Nurgle video, if you bought this box or if you want to buy this box, you're making a great choice, okay? Or you made a great choice if you already bought it. Um, the thing is, is it's not a standalone army, okay? You buy the box. If you love the models, you made a good choice. If you want to expand, you need to build the rest of your army and the rest of your purchases around what you did. Meaning, if you bought this, 
I think your next stop should be splitting the um, two-player starter set with a friend to get that Blood Secretor. Now you have a whole army of corn stuff. The demons fit into that really well. And uh, there are ways in the Blades of Corn book to bring new units onto the table, like blood tithe points um, that you can spend throughout the game. It's like a resource other than magic, because thematically corn does not use magic. And so I, I highly suggest that. What I suggest if you just bought this is don't buy anything else right now. Go buy the Blades of Corn book and look, because it's separated into corn mortals, blood round, and uh, demons, and decide what you like and build to that. It's the same thing I suggested with the Zinch book, the Disciples of Zinch book that came out, and then the Star Collecting box that attached to it. It's just stop and think about what you want to do, and then build towards it. If you just start making purchases here and there, it's going to get convoluted, and you're going to feel like you're not getting as much value. So, really plan out your purchases. It's important to note that there are several people at top tables of games that use corn demons. Like I said, the um, Blood Letter Bomb is a phenomenal choice. I mean, it just, it's ridiculous. It's great. Um, there's no argument about that. The thing is, is what it takes to build the army behind it to do the rest of the things that army should do, which is capture objectives, um, repel enemy, you know what I mean? Have some stuff to go out and harass on the sides and the flanks, things like that. So again, if you bought this box, awesome. I really suggest the two player starter set to go next. If that's not an option for you, we can discuss um, this box or the Corn Bloodbound starter set. Um, I almost recommend this one more because there's more bodies in it. Like you kind of want to fill the floor with bodies. Uh, so there's a lot of good choices to go with Corn. It's just finding the one that you're passionate about. I will say one of the best things about the Corn starter set is that if you are introducing a brand new hobbyist to the game, like someone who, well, I mean, even a hobbyist. A person to miniature wargaming everything on their war scrolls is super straightforward like you can't it's like the blankest cards in all of age of sigmar right so uh i think it's phenomenal to introduce people to the game the basic mechanics of it and then as they kind of grow in their understanding then you can be like hey this is how synergy works you put a blood secretor on the table hey this is how more synergy works and you you know, put another hero on the table to give them some of their bonuses. And so you can really ramp up. You can incrementally teach someone how the cogs of this game work. Um, I think at a much easier pace than other armies. Y'all, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. And uh, if you'd like to buy the Corn uh, Demon Starter Set, go ahead and click the link down below. That'll bring you to the 2 Plus Stuff store. Again, I don't sell these products myself. I'm an affiliate marketer, so I... Uh, power my sales through Amazon. I get a slice of everything that I sell and that directly goes to helping me with lights and sound equipment and content production. It's kind of like giving me a tip uh, instead of doing Patreon, which everyone else is doing. Anyway, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate all the support that I get on this channel. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your time and happy wargaming.